I actually am awaiting two more packages in the mail, but I'm going on vacation for a week. I'm pretty sure they're gonna come while I'm away. I have two of the packages already here, and I can't wait any longer. I want to open them before I leave. They've been sitting in my hall for like a week now, and I leave tomorrow, and I thought, why not just film two parts of this? I'm gonna start with this box that came Canada Post. So this is actually a collector from Canada, and she sent this to me and it came within like three days and it's been killing me not to open it. They don't feel very safe in there. <laughs> it has a tear strip and oh, that's cool. Ta-da! And oh my god, there's no bubble wrap. Why? That's not how you package two briars and they're like making contact with each other. Oh my god, really? Oh no. Oh no. These models were like new in box and I told her to pull them out of the box so that she could ship them easier. Here's that he is a little bit flawed in that sense. But actually quite nice. He has like a lot of flecking going on. So this is uh, Napoleon Moreno or whatever. I can't really remember the name. On um, the Huckleberry Bay Mall. But if you can see really closely, He's full of really brown speckles and black speckles. I really messed up on that side, but I can touch that up. And he got a little bit of a mark there from being in the box with the other guy. So there, there is packing bubble wrap, but not in the spot it needed to be. Oh, he's destroyed. That really sucks. He's actually so nice. He was new in box. I should just kind of ship them in the box. They're like scratched to heck because they were sitting like side by side. Look. I'm gonna have to message her and say like, look, you can't do that. I thought this was a collector that knew what she was doing. Bad, bad packaging. Could have been a lot worse, I guess, but it is pretty bad. Those are my two vintage Huckleberry Bay models, which is kind of fun. Ugh, it's making me, it, like, it's a sickness feeling in my stomach because it could have been prevented. It could have just been packaged nicer. Hopefully this will make up for it. I ordered a very large box of diapers. You see here, we have packing peanuts. And we have a horse in a plastic bag. Oh my god, she didn't even wash it. Ew! It's so dusty. It's like filthy dirty. So this is a secession, the Arabian mare, and this is clearly, clearly a body, but the girl didn't even wash it, so it's so dusty. Oh my god, it's so dirty though. Like, the least you could do was wash it. But I think these guys are going to be an easy strip because they appear to just be like regular acrylic, so I think the paint's going to come off really easy. So that's the video, kind of disappointing, like really destroyed Huck Bay and really dirty, disgusting secession. <laughs> this has not been my day. So I did end up messaging the seller after this whole incident and there was quite a bit of mix up that actually happened. Basically the listing photo that I originally saw was a bunch of new inbox briars and I didn't really zoom up on the photo. I didn't really investigate the photo too much. It looked like all the models were new in box, so I wanted a new in box Huckleberry so that he would be mint condition, and same with Napoleon. So I told her to take them out of the box and ship them just as is. I don't need the boxes. So when they arrived, obviously they were very, very flawed, and I messaged her and said the horses came in terrible condition and I think it's due to the packing. She denied that she packed poorly in any way, and she said that she, they weren't ever new in box, they were just placed in the boxes for the photo. If you do zoom up on the photograph, you can see that there's no ties on their legs, which is so unfortunate because I didn't ask for photos, I didn't ask for a condition report because I assumed new in box meant new in box. It was a miscommunication on my part, a miscommunication on her part. So I guess the moral of the story is even if the photo is new in box, don't assume it's new in box. Now I'm left with two body quality Huckleberry Bays that I paid over a hundred dollars for. So <laughs> probably my first really poor transaction that I've ever had, so I mean it's not that bad. Thank you so much for watching and happy collecting. Be careful when purchasing models online because you never know what you're going to get.